In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use cloud variables to save the best score obtained in our games. That way, every user will be able to see the best score and will try to break the record. So it's something to create more addictive games. Keep in mind to use cloud variables, you need to be a scratcher. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check the description of this video because I have left a link to a video where I explain everything perfectly. To set this example, I have used this program, which is basically a car racing game. This is the code of the car, but I mean, I'm not going to explain that. But don't worry, because I will upload a video on how to do this game, and I will leave the link also in the description of this video. This game works this way so far. Look, I'm going to play. As you see, the idea is finishing the three levels as fast as possible, and at the end, the time is shown here. But now let's create a cloud variable to save the best score obtained. So let's make a variable. Let's check cloud variable best score. Best score is going to be hidden at the beginning, and we're going to show this variable only if the score obtained, the time obtained, is better than the best score, as best score is zero now, and it's impossible to make it better. For the moment, I'm going to set best score to 300. And as I said, if the user playing our game makes a lower time than best score, we will set best score to time, only in that case. And if you want, we can also switch backdrop to party. And show a message saying congratulations or something like that. Let's go back to the code. We're going to switch backdrop to party only in this case but after waiting a couple of seconds so that we have two seconds to see the blue sky backdrop with the time we have obtained and two seconds later we do this and we're gonna also hide um time so let's check if it works <laughs> Okay, it works, but I have forgotten showing uh, this variable. <laughs> Should be shown here, or maybe here. But this is the way cloud variables work. Now, if another user plays this game and doesn't get a better score than this one, which means it takes longer to finish the three levels, this condition is not going to be true, so we're not going to set best score to the time that person has obtained. And obviously we're not gonna switch back to party and so on. And this is the end of the tutorial, guys. I hope you found it useful. Put it into practice and let me know if you have any problems. I hope you don't. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.